Hello students, you are welcome. Our topic is differential cost analysis and uh, in the last class we already discussed about uh, its meaning and its concept. Then today we are going to discuss about its characteristics, the features of differential cost. So first it is, it is not made within the formal accounting records. It is not incorporated within the accounting records of formal accounting records of the company. Then the second one it is the total differential cost only considered. There is no important for per unit cost of differential cost. In case of variable cost of contribution, the per unit contribution or per unit variable cost it is an important concept or important in taking decisions. But in case of differential cost, only we will consider total differential cost, total incremental cost or total decremental cost. There is no relevant for, relevance for cost per unit of differential costs. Another one it is here the decision making uh, factor it is it is based on the differential revenue is compared with the differential cost. If the differential revenue exceeds differential cost the course of action will be recommended. By making the changes in the level of output there may be an increase or decrease in the revenue and there may be an increase and decrease in the cost. So we will consider the differential revenue with the differential cost. If the differential revenue is more than differential cost, then that alternative course of action will be recommended for execution. Then the third one it is items of cost which do not change will be ignored. If there is no change in, in, in a fixed cost, for example, in the present situation and in the proposed situation, in both the cases, there is no if there is no change in the fixed cost, there is no relevance or it will not be included in the differential cost. In differential cost, it will be included or it is the cost which has which is the change in the cost due to the change in the method of production or like that one. So if there is no change or if there is if there is an element of cost which doesn't have any change because of the changes made in the company then that type of cost will not be included or it will be ignored. So those costs which has changed only be included in the differential cost. So items of cost which do not change will be ignored. Then changes in cost are measured from common base point. It may be present cost. That means th there will be a yardstick or base point. We will compare with that base one. The whether the proposed offer, whether if there is a new offer comes to the company, whether to accept it or not. The decision will be based on the differential costing and here we are taking the decision based on the present situation by comparing with the present situation. Or the alternative course of action, if, if there is an alternative course of action comes, whether to accept that alternative course of action or not. The decision will be based on by comparing it with the present base point or the present or present course of action. So always we will compare with the there will be a common base point. So that uh, sometimes or normally it may be the present course of action will be acting as the common base point. And it is related to the future course of action. The differential cost it is related to the future course of action whether the proposal to be accepted or not whether to make or buy decision or whether to made the change whether to replace the existing product or not so all these are future related one so it is related to future course of action these are the important characteristics of differential cost then we are moving to the differences between marginal costing and uh, differential costing marginal costing and uh, differential costing so first of marginal costing you know it is the additional cost incurred for the additional unit produced generally excludes any element of its cost. It is a total variable cost. In marginal costing, it is the main main feature of marginal costing. It does not include fixed cost. Then in case of differential costing, we already discussed it is a cost. It refers to the difference between the cost of two alternative decisions. It is a difference in the cost which arises due to the changes in course of action or method of production. Then another one it is, in case of marginal costing, future cost will not be considered. It only consider variable cost. 
but in case of differential cost in both the cost variable cost of its of cost if there is any change in the variable cost of its of cost both the costs will be considered and the third one in case of marginal costing it is incorporated in accounting system it's a part of formal cost accounting system but in case of differential costing it is determined by separately from the analysis of accounting records by using the existing accounting records differential cost will be find out or measure this the managers taking decisions then next one fourth one it is managerial decisions are mainly based on contribution in case of marginal cost and contribution is the basic element or basic thing based on which managers take various decisions but in case of differential costing the decisions are mainly based on differential revenues or differential cost differential revenue means incremental or decremental revenues when the alternative course of action provides incremental revenue or decremental cost they will recommend or they will propose they will execute that alternative course of action so the decision is based on the differential revenue or cost so all these are so these all are the differences between differential cost analysis and marginal costing okay we will meet again with another topic applications of differential cost analysis in next video so thank you thank you all